Hey guys, Atlantix Online, and I'm playing Home. This is part three, and I'm in Norman's house. No one's house. And, ah, uh, as you can probably already see, there's graphical glitches and stuff. And there's already plenty of stuff happening in this house. Let's go upstairs. It's just wood. It's just the wood. What else would explain that noise? Man, what is this? What the hell? One of Rochelle's old autumn coats hung on a rack. That was Norman's bedroom, wasn't it? What was this doing there? Ooh, Norman, you sly dog. There was a well-maintained gun cabinet here in Norman's room. I didn't know much about guns, but it looked like he kept a few hunting rifles. Ooh, did he now? Also, Norman's room doesn't have a bed. Is this Norman's spare room? Maybe, but why was her coat in the spare room? Oh no, oh no, there's blood there. There's blood. Oh no, is that Norman? Norman! Oh no! I couldn't believe what I was seeing! Norman! My co-worker and one of the few friends I had in this town lay dead beside his lazy boy. His face and shirt were covered in blood. It looked like he'd been killed trying to get up. My eyes were still wide with shock. Norman! What was Rochelle doing here? Why did you have her code? Norman, why? Why? Maybe you deserved better. You probably did, and did I close his eyes? Yes, sweet Norman. I closed his eyelids down, shuddering as I did so. I wasn't sure if I wanted to give him peace, or I just think he couldn't stand to think any more about what was going on. I don't know if I said that correctly. Norman! TV! The TV still flickered some indecipherable channel. Oh no, I can't understand this. Is this in Japanese? No, or st static in ease? This guy has a big house. Oh, it's a shop. I guess this was Norman's kitchen table. He kept it clean enough, but there were water rings from two cups that were in the wood. Aye, I feel odd about this. The kitchen trash bin smelled fresh. I didn't dig through that mess, did I? No, it's a bin. I was already filthy and exhausted. I didn't want to keep rooting around in garbage. Ooh. Fridge, ooh. We don't like kitchens. We don't like kitchens. That's something that we've established. Whatever this guy's name is, home homeboy, homeboy's name is, we know, what's that? What was this? It looked like a pull chain hanging from the ceiling. I wondered where it led. Did I pull the chain? Yeah, yeah. I gave the chain a single tug and a simple folding ladder to the attic popped down. Oh, did it now? Up the ladder we go. Ooh, what's he into? Is this where he kept Rochelle? Ah, oh, my wife, Rochelle! What is in here? Nothing. There was a large cardboard box that hadn't been sealed. Did I open it? Why not if I'm already here? I opened up the old cardboard box and wasn't entirely surprised by what I saw. There were more of Rochelle's things. More of my wife's clothes. Photo shoes. Even that old radio I gave her. Why, Rochelle? Why were you doing... What were you doing here with Norman? Damn you, Norman! Ah, oh, Norman. I'm leaving you. I shouldn't have closed your eyes, you dirty bastard. Having cups of coffee with my wife. The entrance to the front of the store was locked from the inside. Looked like I couldn't just pop it open. I needed a key. There was a bit of blood on the keyhole. Ah, oh, nice to know. What else is here? Do I have to investigate Norman's body again? Oh, Norman! Oh, Normie boy! I hope to hell Rochelle had nothing to do with that mess. Um. Oh, there's a door over here. Did I go through this door before? Oh, it's this kitchen. <sighs> oh, I need to find a key. Or do I? What was this way? Was this his room? His bedless room. 
it was. Where would you keep a key, sir? Oh, I knew Norman hunted occasionally, but I didn't know him to be such a collector. A collector of the exquisite. Hmm. I don't know what to do. I have a method. I didn't. Oh, oh, shit. I need to check that place out to see if I could find Norman or get help. But I've already found Norman. I just want to leave. The entrance to the front of the store was locked. There was a bit of blood on the keyhole. Uh, I don't want to go Norman! There was a little bit of something dark staining the sleeve. Ah. Uh, uh, I don't know what that is. Maybe. Maybe mud. Or blood. Muddy blood. Um. Norman, where do you keep your keys? Do you keep them in the attic? Like normal people? No? Can I investor investigate? Ah, uh, I just couldn't believe it. My head ached with everything that was running through it. So did my leg, because I jumped down a ventilation shaft in sheer desperation in the last episode. Um, Norman? When do you keep your keys? Oh, right, go away. Okay. If I was Norman, a treacherous bastard, I'd never been to Norman's place before. At least, I didn't remember ever doing so. Um, where would I keep the keys? I guess I gotta reach through the trash. Uh, I found a hairpin amongst the rotting food and trash and pocketed it. Ah, alright kind of forced me to do that. I thought this was a choice game where I could choose not to rummage through the garbage. I guess sometimes you just don't have a choice but to rummage through garbage. <sighs> Alright. I used the hairpin to pick the lock. The hairpin snapped in half so I threw it away. Wow. The general person- oh. The general store was small but it was clean. It had the usual things. Postcards, snacks, magazines and canned goods. I never went there much. Rochelle usually stopped by after work if we needed anything. Oh, I see what's going on. The register was mostly empty and a fat stack of travel magazines sta sat behind it. Okay then. I want an ice cream. The ice box seemed to be unplugged. It must have been off for a while. Most of its contents were half melted. I... Okay. There were various postcards from the area, especially from the tourist traps. One of the postcards showed an old black and white photo of the water tower. Ooh, it looked to be in much better shape then. Well, that's good. The night continued to take horrible turn after horrible turn. It had been weeks since I had seen Norman, but to find him like that, dead, who could have done that to him? Seeing that dusty box with those old clothes was a shock. How long had they been there? And what was Rochelle doing at Norman's place? I felt like I had only discovered more questions. No answers. But I was close to home. It was time to find out the truth. Uh, I'm gonna walk down. Who leaves whatever that is around? Oh, I'll go through everyone as I reach it. All right. It was locked. This wasn't the right gate. Okay. The gate was locked tight. This wasn't my house. This is not my house. Is this my house? Is this my house? Oh. The gate was locked tight. Tight. This wasn't... What just happened? The neighborhood's local post box. A letter was sticking out as if someone hadn't pushed it in all the way. I knew it wasn't right, but did I take a look at the letter? No, that's someone else's stuff, man. Leave it alone. I left the letter right where it was. The neighborhood mail wasn't my problem. I'm not a cop, man. I had the wrong gate. This one was locked. I don't remember where your house is. You never... Ooh, blood. This is my house. I'm assuming I had entered our backyard. The rain gave me a terrible sense of foreboding, and it chilled me through my clothes. I was expectant, but also afraid. I'm expecting... <laughs> I'm not gonna make that up. <laughs> I held my breath as I approached my R back door. I 
was terrified to step inside. Mm, I'm not. The house was painfully quiet. The only sound was my own breathing. Ragged and stained. Strained. I flickered the light switch by the door. The power was off. But I can still see. I remembered having breakfast. Here on this very table. Was that yesterday? Or some time before? Oh no! I had breakfast on my own table! Who could do such a thing? The door to the basement was locked. Where had I put that damned key? I'm not sure. There was a small pile of mail on the floor, in front of the mail slot. How long have I been away? Why hadn't Rochelle picked this up? Damn, that woman. Most of the contents were bills. There was a credit card bill there. Did I open it? Well, it is my bill. I ripped the bill open and read it. To my surprise, it said something about cancelling my credit card due to non-payment. What the hell? Okay, let me go upstairs then. The door was stuck shut. There was an old-fashioned keyhole underneath the handle. Cool. This is your house. We're just going for a ride. <gasps> my mirror! A oh, hallway mirror had been smashed. Its pieces shattered around the floor. Please, Rochelle, don't be in the bathtub. A sink, which needed to be replaced. One of the taps was always stuck, but I hadn't got around to fixing it yet. We were lucky enough to get a house with one of those wonderful old claw-footed bathtubs. Ah, nice. Nice. Total information I needed to know. There was blood, though. Mm. My laptop had been left on, and only had a tiny bit of power left. On the screen was a website about the old water tower. There was a key in the top drawer of my desk. Did I take it? Yes. I pocketed the key. Also, if it's been more like, if, wait, let's just say, it takes like a month for those credit card companies to come. If my laptop lasted for a month on battery, I would be crazy surprised. Like, like it like goes off in like four hours. <laughs> What's in my room, in my room? The books were half mine, half Rochelle's. Hey, now that I looked more closely, it looked like the man in the house had some of the same books as I did. I've got a phenomenal memory. My wife's Rochelle's suitcase was sitting on the bed. It was closed. But it had a feeling. What? I had, but I had a feeling. What was in it? Did I open it? Yes. Rochelle's suitcase contained clothes, toiletries, and a train ticket. Was this what you were going to do with Norman? Norman! You traitorous bastard. I thought you were my friend. How many flaws does this place have? Oh wait, I thought I had found my driver's license, but it was just a photo of Rochelle and I. Oh, simple mistake. I was a little, a little disappointed. Did I take the photo anyway? No, I didn't need it. My television, I had purchased it before I knew I was going to lose my job. I felt pretty guilty about it afterward, but by then it was too late. Oh no. I don't know where I am. The door was stuck shut. There was an old-fashioned... Oh, I'm here. Ah, 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 ah. Ah, 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 ah. Um, the basement. Ooh. Oh, oh, oh. There was old Christmas decorations in the box. The garbage bags were stuffed with old paint cans and supplies. There was a dirty old key here. Did I take the key? I took the key. I took the small key and tried to remember what it unlocked. There were old clothes, tools, and other things we obviously hadn't thrown out yet. I had put up this divider last summer so we could create a separate room in the basement. I hadn't finished it yet, so the door was stuck and the drywall was poorly installed. I might have been able to break through if I found something heavy enough. My body! Ah! Come on. Now I need to find something heavy, like small baby. 
Can I go through this door now? The grimy key I had found in the basement unlocked the door. What will we find? It looked like the room had been tossed around. The furniture was a mess. Did somebody break in here? Ooh. Seriously? Nothing? Oh. There was an old crowbar on the floor. Did I need to take the crowbar? Yes. I lifted the heavy crowbar. I appreciated its weight. Good. Good on you. Good for you. People don't appreciate crowbars enough these days. And now we're going to break into this wall. Did I break through the wall with the crowbar? Yes. With a heave, I swung the crowbar at the wall. I smashed a hole large enough to step through. And through the hole we go. As I stepped through the broken wall, my breath caught in my throat. This was it. Was Rochelle, was Rochelle down there? Was she okay? This is his house? Don't look. The blood. A filthy looking pile of rags had been dumped in the corner. The stench of them was awful and made my eyes water. I was terrified to even touch the pile to see what lay within, but I knew I had to. I'd come this far. All of this searching, after all I had seen, when I looked within the rags, did I finally find my Rochelle? No. The rags were wet, matted and covered in dirt and grime. But inside that tattered mess was no sign of my beloved wife. Rochelle wasn't there. I looked around in confusion, trying to figure out what to do next. If she wasn't there, where was she? What had she been searching for this entire time? I remembered the look on Rochelle's face when I came home, didn't I? Then, the awful realization hit me right in the gut. I had been looking at this the wrong way, hadn't I? This is what you've been trying to tell me all along, isn't it? I couldn't find Roche Rochelle there, and I won't find her anywhere else because she was never there at all, was she? I stumbled back upstairs, the pain in my leg, just a dull ache now, and sat down in our bedroom. My mind was spinning and the ache I felt before near crippling. Finally, I could no longer fight the exhaustion. And I had tried to grab hold of something that would make sense of all this. I must have drifted off. I was the one cheating on myself with... I've forgotten his name! Oh, I'm back. Alright, well, <laughs> that's been super fun. <laughs> um, I'm gonna leave it there. We didn't find Rochelle. Oh no! But maybe we will find what is behind all of this. I will see you guys next time. Goodbye! <laughs>